What's going on, guys? Kai Vox and Mika G here, and we're going to be doing our wrap up for March and February. February. <laughs> Why are you yeah. laughing at me? Because you put March first. <laughs> what? They're just words. I could put them in any order I want. Um, Sense it makes does. See, you understood what I meant. <laughs> I did really bad in February. And I think you did too. But then you killed it in March. I didn't do bad. I chose to um, not do good. But yeah, that's why we didn't do a February wrap up. We decided to just do it all in one because we barely read anything in February. I've been having a bad reading year. But to start it all off, book two, Good Girl, Bad Blood, to the series, the uh, Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Oh, I was doing a buddy read with T, I think, in February and March. Maybe. You read three of these books? Yeah. Jeez. This is book two. I enjoyed this one. Um, I can't really talk about what's going on in this book, but book one and two, I feel like we're solid, you know, average, a little above average reads. I expected less because they were YA thrillers um, slash mystery books, which don't usually do much for me, but I, I enjoyed these. I can't tell you much but i did not really like the third one which we'll talk about in a minute i already right. stuck it on the board <laughs> it looks like it's already here yeah oh it's a little pushed up so i gave it this one a 3.5 what did i give the last one a four maybe i didn't like this one more i thought i did a four dude mm, it probably is also a 3.5 mm, you're too generous i guess so sometimes stuff man all right, so do you want me to go next? You go, you go. All right, pick a book for me that I read. This. Oh, okay. So Andrew Rowe came out with um, Death Game Quality Assurance by Andrew Rowe. <laughs> it's a audio, I would say like a novella. Yeah, well, it's an Audible Originals, which are different. Like, So right now it's free for yeah. at least the U.S. and Canada. Uh -huh. um, and there's no physical. No, you can't buy it's the physical. It's literally like two and a half hours long, and it's a little cool story. It's like it's kind of like one of those like radio dramas, you know? Oh, it's yeah. a full cast. That's cool. Yeah, it's it's fun. It was definitely fun. Um, I want to read it. I, it. I liked it. it. It was on my TBR for last month, but I didn't get to literally it. Literally take like an, two hours. I know to to read because you could just I listened to like one point five or something like that. Um, so guys. Here is my impressive <laughs> reading so far for this year. Um, so I actually very much enjoyed this. I'm going to give it a five. What? 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 <laughs> I am shocked because the way you talked about it to me, you were just like, yeah, it was short. I wish it wasn't so short. Why is it so short? I wish it wasn't <laughs> so short, right? But like, I don't think because it was short, it was bad. It yeah. just, it was fine because, it, but it, I wish there was more to it. It would have been fun to have more to it, but it also didn't need it, really. Um, it's Okay, so what it's about. Uh, so you know like those uh, virtual um, MMOs, like the VR MMOs, like from anime and from other lit RPGs? Um, what if you got stuck in one, right? Because that happens in a lot of those animes and like Sword Art Online, right? So basically think of like Sword Art Online. If... This was the development of it. And these are the quality control, quality assurance, the, the testers that tested the game. And it's their story about, you know, testing this game that could possibly get people stuck in it. And, and they, it literally at some points, it takes like, like it's legit just like, what if it was specifically Sword Art Online? Or what if it was specifically this other game? Like it specifically, call, not literally calls out, but... You can, if you know the game or the book or the anime, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's pretty much what happened in that other thing. Or this problem was pretty much what happened in that other thing. So it calls out. So if you're in, if you know, if you're in the know, you'll appreciate it more. I okay. feel like I'm in the know. Yeah. So I feel like I'm you, probably you're less not, so. Yeah. You're not going to like it. I think as much. I've only watched a couple of animes with that trope. I love it so much. Um, my next book I read was. The second short story in Brandon Sanderson's like 
So the second short story, and it's called Redon. In uh, his Cytonic series, like that you're supposed to read before mm-hmm. you read Cytonic. Don't we have these? I haven't read book three. So I pre-ordered, I think they're coming out in April. I pre-ordered uh, okay. the bind up of the three short stories. Do but they make them separate? No, they're only audible. Oh, okay. So this is the first time they're going to be in print and they're putting all three together. Got it, got it. Um, I enjoyed it. I, definitely less than the first short story I read because I just, for some reason, I think her name is Alanique. She's not my favorite character and I don't really like reading through her eyes. And is that's the purple girl? Yeah, that's who this was following. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'll probably give it a... Th- I would still say a 3.5. A 3. Is that 5? mine? Yeah. Yes, this is yours. It says Mika Chia. Is 3.5 bad? No, it's fine. It's above average. I would say three is average. This one. This so one? I like that cover. This one? Yeah. All right. What's, what's it called? What's this one called? You got to put it up next to me. I can't see it. Viridian, Viridian Gate Online. Viridian Gate Online. Okay, so Cataclysm. So <laughs> Why do we keep dropping these? So this is the one that... Um, there was an interesting it's it's a it's another lit rpg this one is uh another full um Cast? immersion oh. no full immersion rig that you you know virtual mmo you know via full full dive mmo this is the one i'm going to just spoil the very beginning so that you understand the concept i don't know if it's in the synopsis but the world is ending the physical world is ending there's a comet and Oh, people want to like upload their brains well, into this game. This game is coming. It came out and or is coming out, and there's a way that you can transfer your consciousness into a digital form. Your physical body will die, but there's also a chance, a one in six chance, that you will die in the process. But there's even a, your consciousness. Yeah, there's a oh. chance that you will not migrate properly. Um, but there's a hundred percent chance that the comet's going to destroy the Earth. Yeah. So, so why not? Therefore, it's worth the try, right? Um, and It follows a regular old guy, young kid, man. He's a man. He's a man. He lives. He's a man. He's not. He's not a seventeen-year-old like all the tropes. Yeah, yeah. Um, But it follows his story, and uh, there's some other shenanigans going on um, with uh, with the game itself and stuff. And the the game system's kind of weird. I'm not a big. I wasn't a big fan of um, the magic system in the game. And I don't know. I didn't really care about like the the combat and stuff as well. I, f- I felt like the fights were kind of boring. Um, but so will you continue with it? No. Oh, I didn't. So you give it a three. And as much as I thought at the very beginning, I thought that the concept for the world ending thing was cool. Mm-hmm. By the end, it didn't matter. Really? So to me, I, it was just kind of like a a way to make the, the to make the person be in a video game, and then once it got like okay, I'm in the video game. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it was just kind of like that other stuff doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. But it does set up some stuff. But yeah, you don't care enough. I don't care about this book. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, it we've had we've had like Encanto songs stuck in our head so lo- so much lately. I'm gonna give it a tree. Is that okay? I said three. I thought that's what you were gonna give it. Oh, all right. It was fine. It was good. It may be for other people, but for me, um, it wasn't the type of uh, MMO that I wanted. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, you next. My next book I read is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, I always associated Colleen Hoover with, like, romance books, but this is not a romance. This is a... Uh, you're going to drop that. Like You're a, flipping around a lot. It's a thriller, but... And, and you're, you're not really holding that up to them. I mean, you don't have to. I know. It's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a thriller. I enjoyed it up until, like... 75 percent in i think and then it just lost me like i thought it was silly and ridiculous and this is clearly an unpopular opinion because i did a buddy read a buddy read on this one also and they they liked it i think it was a reread for them but how many people just one oh 
And uh, I think I disappointed them because I didn't love it. Um, I, I don't know. I thought the ending was just cheesy and dumb. And I was just like, ugh. Like, I, I, I just didn't like the ending personally. Appa- I think that's probably an unpopular opinion because I think this book has good ratings. What is the concept for the book? This woman gets, in, she's a famous author. She gets into a car crash. Um, she's physically unable to. Does her biggest fan find her, tie no, no, her no, to no, her no. bed, and then break no. her at feet? No. No? Okay. So she has this, like, multi-book series or contract, and she hasn't been able to finish the series because she's physically unable to. She's stuck in bed. And so they find this girl to finish the series for her, and she goes into her house and lives there temporarily so she can read all of her notes on this series, and she has to, like, create the rest of the books. Um, I think there's two more. And uh, that's all I could really say. It Mm. wasn't that great. I'm going to give it a three. You're doing good, Meek. Yeah. Let's read about sexy time orcs and junk. Okay. So this one's (laughs) called Monster Core, which is... Okay, so... It's a type of... uh, Dante King, the author. Okay. So... No, Dungeon Core is the name of the book. Oh, I see. You mean the genre? uh, Monster Core is the name of the book. Dungeon Core is the type of book. I see, I see. Um, So it follows basically a bad guy. Right, like a, like a bad guy in a like a RPG. It's 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 definitely a lit RPG. Um, it follows a person that gets put in this world and is basically the, a dungeon. He's basically a dungeon. He has a physical form as well that he can take up, like an in a, an hour a day. He could become a physical form. Okay. Um, he's this sexy vampire with super high charisma. Um, so okay. But my problem with it was that it was a hundred percent like like fan service for like dudes. It was like a dude romance, like a young dude. Yeah, like a young dude. Like like oh, he has to he has to take the other dungeons, you know, and he has to. I'm like this. He has to like <laughs> he has to. So would I like them. it? No, because I, I like romance. It's it, not romance. It wasn't romantic. It was just kind of like like I'm powerful. Look at me. Let's have sex, you know? Like, that's all it was. And it was descriptive, you said, too, It was right? a little bit. It wasn't, like, like it wasn't gross, like, uh, what's his face? Um, Jay Kristoff. Jay Kristoff. But it was enough to for me to make me feel uncomfortable. Um, and it was definitely one of those, like, like um, oh, put yourself in, in their shoes. Which is always, like, what I do in stories, right? Like, I'm always like, oh, that'd be so cool if I was that guy. But in this situation, I'm like, this is so awkward to read about. Like, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to read about this. Um, cause I, I don't like love scenes and sex scenes in books or really in movies. It's super awkward. Yeah. It is. Um, so I just like it when it's implied, yeah. like, you know, like, Hey, yeah. they did it like twilight kind of like they even go a little overboard, yeah, but like yeah. they just imply pretty but much. But there's no sexual thing. It's more of like wanting to be together, but they don't describe pieces of the body, parts of the body in twilight. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, yeah. that get engorged. <laughs> stuff like that like i don't like stuff like that okay like throbbing I, members i don't like members <laughs> i like i i, I don't want to become a member i don't want that I, like so are you gonna read the others the next one no oh okay i don't think any of these extra books i read this month this month i'm gonna read i, really? I want to read so like these just, are all free books yeah on, on audible. audible that i was just like i'm gonna check this one out i'm gonna check this one out i'm gonna check this one out and i just kept going through them and i don't think any of them to me are worth continuing the story and paying 15 to 20 dollars for another book you know what i mean like i i I don't care enough um this one the very ending was like i was like ah that could be cool but i'm just like but it's probably just gonna be he's probably gonna meet it's basically he's creating a harem okay Ah. he's creating a hair it's a harem anime that's what it is uh with a little bit more like Maybe almost an M rating, but not quite. Like an R rating. You know what I mean? An R rating, I would say. Um, it, it, the idea is cool. I really like the dungeon core idea of like following the the villain. Like those parts of it were fun. But it, this would be like, I'm going to, right now I'm, 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 I'm between a three and a half and a four because it was okay. The fun parts were fun. But those other parts were not fun, and I like the building, and I like the the idea. This is the I think this is the first um, dungeon core that I've that I've uh, I've read. So 
it's kind of like a new thing to me. So it feels different. I don't know. So I feel like I'm being nicer to it. Mm. Like like lit RPGs now, I'm like, I've read so many different types and I've experienced so many that I, I feel way more... Um, well versed. Yeah, and I and I feel more stingy about giving out nice reviews. I, I think I'm gonna do a three and a half. The characters were more fun, and there was like it was a little bit more like uh, slime. You know, mm. by the time I got reincarnated as a slime with like the the monsters and the you know leveling up and stuff and them leveling up and and you know having a, a group that was fun. I gave it a three and a half. Me? First oh. book. Oh, first book. So this was a book club book, which I think one person read, maybe March. two. March? No, uh, no. February. It was for February. Book. Chasing the Boogeyman. This book was just kind of boring. Mm -hmm. It was a little weird. Mm -hmm. um, it was very descriptive. If mm -hmm. you want a full in-depth thing, we did a live stream on it. It's up. You could, you could watch it. Um, but really, like, it wasn't suspenseful. It wasn't thrilling. It wasn't really all that mysterious feeling where I was like, I need to know what happened. I honestly was just kind of bored. And when the ending came, I was just like, oh, okay. He's a good writer, this author. I will give him that. He's just a little too descriptive in things that don't really matter. I feel like this could have been condensed and it's not even a long book. And I don't really need to read more. Uh, I don't know. I heard that there's probably going to be more. I am not interested. I will not read it. Um, it was a little less than average. I'm probably going to give it a two. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just, uh, I was very underwhelmed, especially with like the blurbs. You can never trust blurbs. People are like, it is so chilling and thrilling. And it's like, it really wasn't. The best part was the ending when you got to close it and, fit, and no, stop and finish there was like it. an interview in the ending. That was the best part. All right. So while we're talking about uh, book club books, next month, uh, oh, yeah, April's well, book club book is the Atlas Six. I, I feel like when this, is it? The twenty fourth of April. Yeah, April twenty fourth, two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a very popular book right now, um, and it's been popular for a while. Um, so I hope you guys, if you've read it in the past, feel free to join. Um, if you plan on reading it, feel free to join. I'm interested to see, um, people that have read the original, if it differs so from I'm, this one. I'm not excited about this book. I'm going to read it because it's part of the book club. Or are you going to let me read it first and see if you'll like it? No, I could probably start it like tomorrow or something and yeah. finish it by the end of the week. And then you'll be like, oh, I haven't started it yet. Yeah. Because you're going to wait till like the 20th to tell me you probably shouldn't read it or you probably should read it, you know? So because that's probably when you're going to start reading it. No, I plan on, no I, I am behind. As good as dead. Oh, that's the second book. Book three. Third, third book. That's in what I said. Series, I effing hated the ending of this book. Yeah. I liked it up until probably 60 or so percent. And then it just went completely downhill. I hated the ending. I'm not the only one because T buddy read it with me and she felt exactly the same way. You always speak of this T. Yeah. This mysterious person. Um, this cover is amazing. I love the cover and it's got like texture to the duct tape and stuff. But, oh my God, I hated the ending. I'm going to spoil this. You ready? If you have not read this, and if you plan on reading this, do not listen while I have this book up. But would you recommend them read it? The whole series? Me, no. But clearly, my opinion is an unpopular one. But Hot take, baby. Uh, as long as I'm holding this up, I'm spoiling stuff. The ending was trash. Uh, she ends up essentially killing somebody and then framing someone else for the murder... Because she's a good person, and this person that she's framing, I is guess a bad person. he raped someone in the past, which mm. I'm not condoning by yeah, yeah, any yeah. means. But rape is not murder. They're, they're two different charges. They're two different things, and I don't feel like she should have taken it into her own hands to decide that this guy should go away for the rest of his life and frame this murder on him. Yeah, I mean, it's still illegal. It what, is. What she did is still illegal. She killed this guy. It was kind of in defense because he was going to kill her. Oh, okay. But 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 she if 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 it was in defense, she could have easily gotten away with it, it because she ran away. She got away, and then he came back, and she's like, "Look, I'm going to hammer this guy in the back of the head." Oh, nice, nice. You know, so she did kill him, probably 
would have had a hard time getting away with it. But she literally first off framed this other person for murder that did not murder anybody. He was a bad guy and should have gone to jail, but for a different charge. And she did it in kind of a stupid way. I did not believe any of the forensics involved in this. It was you're a unreal. professional uh, <laughs> amateur. Yeah, no, but like it <laughs> you watch, you watch a lot of YouTube videos about <laughs> forensic stuff. Forensic stuff, but it didn't make sense. I feel like the forensic aspect did not make sense, and the fact that she gets away with it in the end just pisses me off. Like, yeah. okay, you want to try to frame someone else that didn't deserve to be framed for murder. Okay, but as long as in the end he's found not guilty or you get found out or whatever. But no, in the end they insinuate that he is guilty and goes to jail and her life is hunky-dory. And I'm like, what the actual F? Mm. Like, it's effed up. <laughs> like, And I am not the only one that feels this way. I know for a fact. Um, I read some reviews. Some people agree. I know the person I buddy read with it or whatever, English. She agreed. So, Trash. So, ending. do you remember? Wait, wait, come bring it back. Do you remember that I said when you started reading the first yes. one that she killed somebody, and this is this is her guide to how to kill somebody because it was in the title of the first freaking book. How what was it called? A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Boom. He did predict it. I predicted it. No I'm, more spoilers. I'm the best. All right. Um, so that being said, I had a really hard time reading this because I truly did enjoy the first half of it, but the ending just like completely killed it for me. So I, All right, so I might have it? to go with a two, a 2.5 or a three. A 2.5, you said? I gave it a two. Wow. Oh, so, so you want to give it a two? Originally, I gave it a, a two. So, yeah, I guess we're going with a two. I have a lot of twos this year. Nice, dude. That's not good. We're running out. I know. And it's only been a couple months. You better start reading better books. I told you. I've had a bad reading year. Um, All right. So, I guess I'm next. Pick my next book. This one? Oh, okay. This one was interesting. This one was called Champion's Quest, The Die of Destiny. So, this one is out of the, the random books that I read this month. This is probably the most original and weirdly interesting one okay um frank cole is the author and how do i explain okay so it, it follows younger kids so it definitely seemed like a more i don't know if it's a young adult book um or is young adult a thing yeah ya okay so it definitely they were younger they were younger kids it definitely f had a more um kid vibe you know like like learning a lesson type thing. Um, but I had fun and I thought it was very weird. It's like follows an orphan kid, blah, blah, blah. And there's a game that they're playing and it's, it's very Jumanji-esque. Mm. Okay. Very Jumanji-esque, but with like fantasy instead of just being humans in a jungle. Mm -hmm. They do have some abilities. There is some weird stuff going on. There is like a death mechanic, um, but it's very Jumanji. I think that this is probably one of the ones that was the most fun out of. So you're gonna continue it? No, <laughs> um, I d I don't care that much because it seemed like it ended in a good spot, like Jumanji. Jumanji ends and it's like cool. You it don't need a Jumanji. I don't too. need a Jumanji too. I don't need the rock in my Jumanji. It's it's okay, you know. Jumanji on the rocks is is perfectly fine, but I could I could just have Jumanji neat. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I just learned what neat meant. The other day when we were watching Friends, by the way. Oh, neat yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no ice. No yeah. rocks. So, therefore, I thought that joke was pretty good. Thank you. Good. Thank so you, other you dads it? out there um, 3. for 5? my joke. I thought it was pretty good. No, it was better than that. I'd say it was a four, man. Ah, but you're That's not it. reading the next but one? But I'm not reading the next one, no. Shocking. Because it was good. It was done. The story was done, I feel like. I don't know if there is another one. There probably is because it's called. Oh, I forgot. You said it did it's feel like Champion's it ended. It's called Champion's Quest in, you know, in the Die of Destiny. And it was like, it was like almost like D&D, &D, but it was like a dice game. But it was, okay, which is basically Jumanji. Yeah, Jumanji they they yeah. go through the thing, but there is no like board, physical board game. And there was some weird wizard stuff. It was pretty cool. It was, I was like, especially the first like 20% of the book, I was just like, wow, this is super interesting. And like, if I was a kid, this would be like so freaking cool, you know, four. That's my first four for the year, guys. Get, uh, all right. Look you. 
I'm doing better. <laughs> he did good in February, March, and I am so proud of him. He wrote down his books that he read. I it also, was such an easy thing I to like. I also wrote down which one I, I was reading, then I put a little check mark next to it when I was done. I was impressed. And then, I went to, then when I started a new one, I added it to my list, and I put a little circle there to check it off. Boom. Mm. And I also put March. And then next month, I'll put another month. Excuse as me. As in uh, f- May. Wait, a- April. April is after. Next is um, I got an audio arc for a brush with love a brush with love i was that sounds terrible <laughs> i was pitched that it had the vibes of the love hypothesis which i loved it's hypo- what did i give that book Ow. i gave it a 4.5 the love hypothesis why it has i loved the word it love in it i really loved it i was pitched that, that this was like that uh, to me, it loses one full point for having the word love <laughs> in the title. Um, no better than the four. Impossible to be better than the four. I did not love Prove me wrong. this one. I, I I understand why people like it. It did not give me the feels that the love hypothesis gave me. It was cute, but it wasn't like tension cute. Like I need that like tension in my romances like... Ah, like when's it gonna happen? It needs to happen. Like this, I didn't really feel like that. It was just kind of like meh, and I, I just felt why you're you're not very romantic. Like <sighs> you're not a romantic person. So why do you like like romantic? I just do. So much? Shut up. I didn't you love don't it. like romantic movies. You know what you would probably like? <sighs> no, off topic here a little bit. You would probably like all of those like romantic love anime. Because they, they are probably so easy to just watch. Like, like you know how love stories are easy to read? Yeah. Because they're all the same. They're probably like, you probably love it. Like, honestly, you should try some and just see what you think. <laughs> because, like, honestly, honestly. This one was okay. I just didn't feel like I really cared about any of the characters. One of the main, the main character has anxiety. They talk about that. And, like, I, I felt like they did a good job. Because I, I've had anxiety my whole life. And I feel like they... They described that well, but like it was a pretty big part of the story and I didn't really need it to be I personally I don't know. Oh. I think I'm going to give it a 3. A tree. And I thought I was going to like I didn't know you read this many books. Yeah. I was like I was like I'm going to beat her. I'm going to I'm going to catch up no, to her. No, this is February. I did in February blah, blah, blah. February you did well? No, February and March. That one was that was March actually. Then it started going downhill for me after that. Um, Dude, look at this. Look how weird this. It's like a, yeah. It's like a, a de- increasing or decreasing as it goes up. Look at that. That's weird. Awesome. That means I'm having a great time. You're reading. not. You're having a bad time. <laughs> so what? You don't really have much left. We had about the same. Yeah. So do this one. I DNF'd this book. Where is it? You have it over there. Oh, okay. This is called Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I have all three of these. Not going to read them. Don't we, care. We got them in a uh, book box, box. Yeah, a long time ago. I personally don't think it was written that well. I did not care about the characters. I thought the main character was kind of a jerk. The book is pretty, though. The, yeah. the cover is nice. I'm going to donate them. I don't care about this series. I, I just don't care. I don't feel like it was great, and she was just pissing me off the whole time. I, I probably got about 100 pages in. I'm going to nope. be honest with you. 50 I pages. I don't really want to donate to Goodwill anymore. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it goes to waste because, like, I don't know. Do they even, like, put them out? Like, I don't know they what do. happens to they them. They do. I, I, I just, know a lot of people that shop at Goodwill, and they, they do put them out. I feel bad. I don't know. Can't we just give them to, like, friends? Or like a, a, library. a library. I've tried. Or they don't want them. They don't want any books. They want very specific ones. Our library is small. Don't forget. Uh, okay. But anyway, I didn't like it. The main character pissed me off. I gave it a one. Is Actually, it, it was a DNF. Is it so an Alice it's in Wonderland type DNF. thing? Yeah. It is. Did you already say that? And I just wasn't listening. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Did I? I, <laughs> I might don't not know. Have. I'm giving this a dead DNF because I Ooh, super didn't wait, like wait, it. Wait, put it up or low. Because I was trying to see if maybe if you put it up high, you could put another one underneath it. But um, This one? How no, about? you could talk about this one. Because now we have the same amount left. All right. My next book was Sufficiently Advanced Magic by Andrew Rowe. This little book that um, we have the physical version of it. I don't know why I'm holding this little tiny one and I, why I have to put it on the screen for y'all 
to because see. it's in the den. Oh I my even God. feel like it's getting a, it. It's a it's a it's on the other side of the house. Like <laughs> I forgot we live in a football field and you had to walk a whole twenty feet to the other side of the house. This is a reread for you. It is a reread to me for me. Okay. Third time I read it. Ow, it's third? Third time. What? I read it last year, I think, too. That's crazy. Um, or maybe last year I started reading it, and then this is year I Is it still I a read... star, or is it just a five? I would... I, okay, so... I don't know. I really liked it. Like, I, I, I don't want to give it a star again, but I feel like I should, because, like, I have no problem with this book at all. And, like, especially now that I know more about Karis, like, I feel like I can enjoy it more. And, like, I'm listening to these things that he says and, like, these other things, and I'm like, ooh... I know, I know what's actually happening, and I know why. Because like, surprisingly, Karis is like almost like a like a B character in this. You know what I mean? Like he's he's pretty, he's not the main character, he, but he's no. pretty important. So I yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a star. So Andrew Rowe is killing it this year for me. Yeah, uh, we got a five and a star for me for Andrew. Dope. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I gave the original a star. I may have given it a five, and then as I kept reading them, I liked them more and more. Um. But yeah, so. Sufficiently Advanced Magic has three books now. Yeah, I think. And then there are two other series, the Mir- the Broken Mirrors, um, the War of Broken Mirrors series, um, and then the uh, S- Swords and Wielders, which is the starts with Six Sacred Swords. Um, so it's a whole like, like MCU Marvel Universe <laughs> type thing going on where it's just like a big universe that's uh it's pretty good it's pretty good it's okay so look it's not brandon sanderson guys okay it's not brandon sanderson but but he's on another level guys you can't mm. but it's it's my i think this is probably like my second favorite book series that i'm like following right now maybe tied even in some ways with some of the some of the brandon sanderson stuff because like i like some of the brandon sanderson, but some of it i don't like it as so much as it does yeah you know what i'm saying um, especially that one of the colors. Yeah, the color Breaker. one was like my least favorite book, and some people really like that one. That's such an unpopular opinion, apparently. Like people love that book, and I'm like, I why? Know. I just didn't like the magic system. It's just like the color thing. I was just like, yeah, it's kind of weird. So I have another DNF. Ooh, you do. Good for you, Mika. I'm so proud of you, man. So this was a wrapped book. Th- think about this. Look, think about this DNF. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Wait, do you have a different cover? You grabbed a different cover. Oh shoot. It's a different cover, but it's the same yeah. book, right? So it's it's called Kiss Deception. Kiss of Deception. Oh, I didn't see the of. It literally, all I can see is Kiss, and the of is so tiny. Um, so here's the thing about DNFs, right? That I like. First of all, she's holding this sword very wrong on this on this picture. I hate it. I hate it so much. We've talked about this before, but um, DNFs, right? Instead of forcing yourself to read something and and like not enjoying yourself like it's better to i feel like better to stop and then read something else because this was a wrapped book i tried so hard guys i i did i tried three times to read it and i think each time i got about 50 or so pages in and i just don't care why a dead dnf or regular dna regular i think i don't know well i don't think it was bad it wasn't badly written it was just boring to me like it has the stereotypical like princess running away from home like making a life on her own i just did not care about her her story there's supposed to be this whole like mystery as to like these two men that meet up with her and you don't know which one's the good guy and bad guy but like i did not care i did not you have care. a right triangle right now going on yeah i just I give up. I think I have one other book in this series. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to keep it. Um, I I think at my age, I'm just getting over. I, I can't connect with YA books anymore. I think I've read so many of them that they all just seem like wash and repeat to me. Like, I just don't care. I don't know. Nothing unique I think about that, this I think one. it's rinse and repeat. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, then we could talk about Shade Slinger. We can talk about Shade Slinger. Shade Slinger by Kyle Kieran. We you have, like my uh, voice? This is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. We have an in-depth um, live stream if you want to listen to our super in-depth thoughts about this book. We both really enjoyed it. Um, it's basically like this guy has not the greatest life and he ends up 
uh, going into this video game world and he wants to make like a name for himself in that world. And this video game world that they have created is like super in depth and really like So it's like the new, tech. it's the newest, highest, craziest MMO that's coming out. It's a, it's a virtual MMO, right? So you're full, full, fully emerged, emerged, no, immersed, immersed um, in it and, and emerged. You're emerged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, we don't want to go into detail, like with the, the nitty gritty, but yeah, but it's fun. There's some, uh, there's a grumpy character in there. If you guys like grumpy characters, which we always like, like grumpy, angry, annoyed characters, and uh, just hating everybody. Um, and then you know, it's it's just a fun lit RPG, for sure, lit RPG, and uh, the audiobook's really good. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's fun. I I definitely want to read the next one. I have read the next one, and uh, I want to talk about that one too because it's right here. It's called the Black Sand Baron. I always want to say I bandit. love these covers too. The They're covers so are, pretty. Are cool, yeah. Um, and uh, I can't really talk about this one more uh, any a lot, but I do like it. I think more than the first one, uh, a little bit, because the first one sets everything up, and it takes a while for things to for the ball to start rolling and everything, and then. By the end, it's like, oh, cool. We understand the world now. We understand that it's not like a prequel, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the second one, it's like everything is happening. And it's just from beginning to end, it's just like a bunch of cool stuff happens. Um, and there's even, it's a lot more of like character development, I think, and character growth throughout the story. Yeah, because some of the characters we don't really see a lot in the first book. And I heard from you that they're in the second book more, which I'm excited for. I totally plan on reading it. I don't know when, probably not next month, but soon do we have black sand Baron? i don't have the physical physical yeah okay. no so what did you give shade slinger shade slinger i think i gave it a four and a half i gave it a four nice 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 oh no i cut these crooky try to not unstick them because otherwise they don't restick very well eh. so at least I have a, a few, like, fours. I don't and have then, any fives yet. Uh, Black Sand Bear. I, th- I think I'm going to give also give it a four and a half. I wish I could give it a little bit more, but I think I, I read them back to back, and as a whole, they're a four and a half, and which is really good. It's really good. The only thing that I felt was that because it was, you know, a video game, um, it takes away that stakes, and, and it's not like they're stuck in this video game. There are some stakes but it's it's a uh, it's not like people would die right because that's always the big stakes is either the end of the world or somebody's gonna die that's not the type of book it is it's just a fun adventure in a game and you know maybe you'll lose some friends on the way if you do something wrong mm. it's kind of vague but i think that describes it as well as possible okay you go because i just did my second yeah two books I in a row Read Beach Read, which was a TBR jar book. I was super excited for because it was a romance that I've heard really good things about, and I did not like it. Um, I did not care about the main character and her story. I did not care about the love interest. I did not care. I feel like this book is very deceptive. I don't feel like it's a beachy, fun summer. Are you sure you like love books? Yes. Because I feel <sighs> like you don't. From, like, the description of this book and the look of it, I, I expected, like, a fun beachy romance, which normally isn't really my thing. But did, it's, it, did it take place on the beach eh, at all? Not, like, a beach beach like you would think of. Um, it Wait, was, like, a, what I, from what I understood, it was, like, a smaller type, like, and I don't even know if it was an ocean side. They didn't even really talk about the beach aspect. It was, okay. like, most of the time they were in a Man, house. I have a, I have a question. What is a beachy romance? Like I don't know. Like it like, takes physically takes place on the beach. That's the only most thing that of the makes... time. Or I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't like them. I I just don't like that scene. I guess so. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, sand. It gets everywhere. <sighs> but I really did not love this main character. She was annoying to me. The man was annoying. There was no connection between them. I I didn't care about their romance i didn't care was the man trying if to they got together was no he, he was just kind of like standoffish and if was it he were trying me to take her wind what was he trying to take oh, her wind i get it um if it was me i would have said like f you by like a long time ago i wouldn't have dealt with his nonsense didn't care probably a two stars two stars huh two again dude you got to stop doing these twos <laughs> We're going to run out. Here, pull that yellow, that white piece off. Oh, my God. 
It's like oh a band aid. Oh, my word. All right, we each got one more book left. All right, so mine was, I can't read what this says, Legends Online Genesis? Oh, yeah, I think it is Genesis. Hold on. Yeah, it is. It's right there. You have it. You have it written right there. Yeah, I know. I think you're missing one of my books. No. Maybe I didn't write it in there. Level up or die. She forgot to send me one of my book covers. She said, I'm so proud of you and blah, blah, blah. But then... I forgot didn't one. send one of my my books because she was looking up all the covers and I was doing the printing out thing. Um, but anyway, uh, it's Level Up or Die. Obsidian. Is that what, it's, is that what yeah. the series is? Okay. Um, so again, it's another book one in a series. This one I liked. It was a little bit more. It was like, okay. So a kind of like a dungeon creature succubus lady summons a bunch of humans. Mm. And she's like, hey, you guys need to level up. Get strong because I want to use your energy for whatever. So like um, Sailor Moon? Sure. Uh, and they have they all have special abilities. It follows one main character. And it's cool. It was fun. It was it was weird and different. And there was no weird sex stuff, which was great. Um, so you're going to continue that series? I don't know. <laughs> but I did like it. I did like it. So what are you going to rate it? Probably like a four. Okay. It's probably pretty good. Um, she didn't print it, so it's a four. So we just got to remember, and I don't want to waste a whole piece of sticker paper for one little book. So we'll probably just stick it on next month. Um, but yeah, it, I think it was a four. It was fun. It was it was different, and um, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it. But if you want, like like I would say that and the the die of destiny. So the two ones that have die in it, level up or die, and die of destiny. Those are the two that I would say out of these random. Lit RPGs I read that I, I, I really liked. So what about that one? You started talking about it and then you stopped. Well, I didn't even start. I just mentioned the name. Um, and let me let me look at it because I don't remember <laughs> which one it was. I remember. That this is the last one I just finished. Isn't that weird? I don't, re I, I don't remember the name of it. I just started reading it and I was just like, shoot, which one was this? Um, okay. Yeah. This one was very much a city building style of book. I feel like that's kind of what Shadeslinger was. Kind of. A little bit. But yeah, kind of. But this one was more of a city building So was it thing. boring? I liked it. Oh. It was good. Um, you going to continue? This one? <laughs> <laughs> well, probably not. But I did like it, though. I did like it. If I ever need, like, another book to, to start reading, I think this one would probably be my choice out of all of the ones will probably be this one. So I think I'm also going to give it a four. Okay. Um, but I, I think it's a read. I think if, if you like lit RPGs, this one is a little bit different. And um, it has a weird, it has an interesting concept to it. Also, um, you can only die a certain amount of times. That's a fun like part about it uh, until like your character dies. Mm. So it's it, like, you know, you have more than one death, but it's still like you're limited to how many deaths you can have before you, you basically your character gets deleted, which is which is a cool concept because it makes, you know, the stakes more important. Like you don't just lose some renown, you know, or XP or something. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going to give this one a, th a four as well. All right. So your last move this book. goddamn cup that I just finished last night. Malakai. Malakai? I think it's like technically Malakai oh. by Alan Brenner. It's basically oh, about it leprosy. Oh. Um, it's about, it, it's essentially like a contemporary fiction coming of age novel, but about a little girl who gets leprosy and ends up being exiled to this island that they um, sent everyone with leprosy to to live out her life where she could like barely see anyone um, she loves and knew in her life. And her whole family was shunned because of it. And apparently this is what happened. So this is based on a lot of truth. Um, and this Island is where they used to send people with leprosy. And so I'm torn because a part of me, like the medical side of me, really loved hearing about leprosy, how people were treated, you know, what they did, how they feared it back in the day, kind of like the history of that. Um, 
But at the same time, I didn't really care for like the personal relationships aspect of it that this woman had that we, we were reading through. Um, I definitely feel like I would have enjoyed this more of like in a movie form or like a, a documentary form, like learning more about this island and how they treated people and sent people over there. I feel like I should have had a lot of emotional feelings reading this book. And even though the author was really, really good at writing, um, I, I didn't get that emotional connection. Like I feel like a lot of people she knew died and it was just kind of like, oh, they're dead on to the next thing. And it's like, wait a minute. Like, oh, she's sad about it, but you know, life goes on. And I'm like, I feel like we should have more of like an emotional, like feel <laughs> like, and I cry over everything. And I only got teary like once in this book and I didn't even like full out cry. So I'm really shocked. Um, but like I said, that I, I learned a lot about leprosy that I never knew, obviously. And uh, I didn't know that, for example, they ever came up with a cure. And they, they did. And it's pretty much almost eradicated. Leprosy is still around, but it's not, um, I, I guess, it's not fully eradicated yet. But it was very interesting um, finding out that there were different strains of it and it affected people differently. But like I said, I, I enjoyed more of the medical side of it and less of the, like, her life story and going through it. And I, I would have liked it better as a documentary mm -hmm. essentially, but it was good. It was definitely well written and I'm glad I read it. I was really not looking forward to reading it, but I'm glad I did. I think I'm going to give it a four. Oh, that's a, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, guys, I guess and that's it. That wraps it up for March. February and March, yeah. Mine is mine are very even. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that that wraps it up. Um, ooh, I don't think I have anything else to say in this video. It's a, a bit of a long one. A, um, little, a little bit. Because we ended up reading much more later on than we did in February. Oh yeah, I, I read one book in February. Yeah, but so. thank you guys, and uh, we'll have a TBR up soon, if not before this. And that's it. Yeah, say wait, bye, me. Say, oh, wait. What? Oh, yeah. Say the word. Uh, um, can. Can. Like, uh, like a soda can? Or yeah. Like a, it doesn't really matter, though. I was going to say crystal ball. That's Is that one word? No. Mm, can't be. It has to be ball or crystal. <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want ball or crystal? Crystal. Crystal. Like the name. So say the word crystal somewhere in the comments. We know you stuck this far. I think it's pretty crystal clear what you guys have to do. <laughs> bye. Uh, say bye, Meek. Bye, Meek. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>